Hello and welcome to Tennisworks TV on Tuesday the 27th of September 2011. With myself, John Cavill, the Director of Tennis, Tennisworks. Here's a brief roundup of the latest news in the world of tennis. During the weekend of the 16th to the 18th of September in the World Group of the Davis Cup, Argentina defeated Serbia three rubbers to two and Spain defeated France four rubbers to one. This sets up another fantastic final during the weekend of the 2nd to the 4th of December in Spain. Joe Wilfried Songa became the third straight Frenchman to clinch the Mets title, following in the footsteps of Gilles Simon and Gael Monfils, and boosted his chances of qualifying for the Barclays ATP World Tour Finals when he beat Croatian number four seed and the 2005 champion Ivan Lubacic, 6-3, 6-7, 6-3 in the final. Florian Mayer became the ninth first time ATP World Tour Titleist of the year and the first German to lift the silverware at the BRD Natase Tiraki Trophy. The second seed defeated the four seed Pablo Angela of Spain 6-3, 6-1 in 72 minutes to break a 0-4 losing streak in title matches. Chanel Schupers won her first WTA title in China by defeating Magdalena Rybrukova 6-2, 6-2 in 1 hour and 29 minutes. Schupers is the first South African to win a WTA title since Amanda Kutzer won in Acapulco in 2003. This was the year she has played her first WTA main draw. Maria Jose Martinez Sanchez claimed her first hardcourt title in Seoul to capture the Han Seoul Korean Open crown by defeating Galian Boskebova 7-6, 7-6 in the final. Jamie Murray and Andre Saar won the title at the ATP 250 in Metz, France, following a 6-4, 7-6 defeat of the second seeds Lucas Dulzny and Marcelo Mello. The British 16 and under boys team, which is captained by Greg Brzezetsky, are heading to Mexico for the Junior Davis Cup. The team consists of Carl Edmund, Luke Bambridge and Evan Hoyt who won their European qualification round. Mona Barthel has won the Aegon GB Pro Series Shrewsbury's women's singles title after victory in the final at the Welty Tennis Centre on Saturday. The German number one seed and world number 90 disappointed the home crowd by beating the British number two Heather Watson, 6 love, 6-3 at the $75,000 tournament. The Aegon British Tour Cambridge concluded at the weekend victory for Natalie Hayden Scott and Alan Bevan in the women's and the men's singles respectively. 15-year-old Hayden Scott became the first female to qualify and then go on to win an Aegon British Tour title. The Surrey teenager won two matches in qualifying then won five matches in the main draw to round off a very successful week at Hills Road Tennis Centre. The men's event saw Alan Bevan win his second consecutive title, having won in Paddington earlier this month. In an absorbing final, the 20-year-old from Shropshire beat Dominic Ross Hurst 6-3, 4-6, 6-2. Looking ahead to this week, this week, the ATP are in Kuala Lumpur and Bangkok. And on the WTA Tour, the women are in Tokyo. Let me keep you informed about the forthcoming Tennis Works events. Join us in Milton Keynes for a live Tennis Works seminar with Paul Dent on no frills, just mental skills drills. Have you ever wanted lots of different drills and exercises to enhance your player's mental strength? Paul will be taking the coaches through an array of mental skills, games and drills 
that will help the players increase their competency, character and instill a positive mindset. Mental strength is key to peak performance at whatever level a player is competing at. But getting players to modify their behaviour takes time and there are many ways to try and connect with a certain individual to enable this. This encore practical presentation promises to be inspiring and thought provoking for any coaches wishing to take some good ideas back to their pupils for improved results. You can register for this seminar now on www.tennisworks.net. In October, Tennisworks is proud to present the Producing World Number no. Ones webinars with guest presenter Joffrey Porter. Joffrey is the founder of the Global Tennis Team Academy in Mallorca, and on these webinars he will share with us his thoughts, observations and understanding of what the requirements are to develop not one but two World Number no. 1 ATP Tour players. Joffrey is internationally renowned for his work with top players including Carlos Moya and Rafael Nadal and he is a regular speaker for numerous conferences, courses and seminars worldwide. You can register your interest on this webinar now by visiting www.tennisworks.net. Please go to tennisworks.net today where you can register for your free membership for one month. Whether you're a coach, player, parent, enthusiast, assistant or involved in tennis in any way, tennisworks.net is a one-stop shop for all your tennis development and educational needs. On the website you can also sign up to our free newsletter which is bursting with quality information and articles from our contributors around the world. And you can also join our YouTube channel with regular updates on the world of tennis. The Tennisworks newsletter has been running for one year and we have a very special 25% discount offer on all annual packages. To claim your discount, simply enter the coupon code ANNIVERSARY into the coupon box when signing up. I'd like to thank you all for tuning in and please go and visit tennisworks.net now. Take care and see you all again soon.